we just finished uh, Sean the Sheep. Uh, what do you think, honey? I thought it was great. Uh, what do you like about it? You want me to go over it real fast? Yeah, I'm used to you talking. About <laughs> well, oh, I'm going to open the window, actually. That's right, the car's off. Okay, so we're in a hot box right now, so we aren't going to make a long video. Sean the Sheep. I literally knew nothing about this movie until probably Tuesday, which was the day before it was released. I probably planned to see it sooner. Except I didn't even know it existed. I'd already planned us watching Mission Impossible and Fantastic Four. So I kind of went into this movie cold, but at the same time, it got really good reviews. I think it's at 99% or something like that on Rotten Tomatoes. And, and I also knew she would love it. So I was like, you know, maybe we should go ahead and check out that movie. And it, it's, it's interesting. It's actually completely dialogue free, which I thought was fun. Um, the only words in it are written or it's in a, in a song. There are, you, you get normal words in a song. You okay? Just that. I, it just feels like my skin's really hot. It is pretty hot here. Hopefully this isn't too loud. Oh. But, uh, that'll help us out. So, uh, Sean the Sheep. Um, it's dialogue free, and it's, I thought was really cute. It's not, I don't think it quite deserves a 99%. I don't think it's that good. But this is a really cute movie. I really enjoyed it. Um, if, if you're, if you don't know what it's about like I am, um, pretty much it's just about... Well, for almost most of the movie, I felt it could have just been called The Sheep. Because it's Sean and all these sheep going on an adventure. And towards the end, it I felt like it more narrowed down on just being on, on a Sean focus, I felt. What do you think? I didn't know his name was Sean. Well, the only reason I knew his name was Sean was because the opening credits get told said his name was Sean. And then... uh yeah, it's the title of the movie. Hey! Here's... I'm gonna open an arrow window. Uh, this is hot. Mm. Should, should I tell them what it's about? Yeah, well, you can just discuss anything you want to talk about the movie. Try not to think about how hot it is. <laughs> It's about them trying to do vacation, so they put Sean to sleep. No, the farmer's not named Sean. The sheep's named Sean. The sheep's are named Sean? Well, the one main sheep. His name's Sean? Yeah. Oh. The farmer's just named Farmer or Mr. X through part of this movie. <laughs> Essentially, it's just a silly little movie, but it's a lot of fun. Um, it's about... Go ahead. It's about... It's about... The, it's about the sheep putting the farmer to sleep. And the, well, they, they put the farmer... They trick him to sleep, and apparently people in this universe are really susceptible. To, they just cannot resist watching sheep jumping... And when they do that, they just fall asleep. <laughs> really silly. It's a silly universe in this movie. But they're doing it because they want a day off. Because they're bored with their routine. They're doing the same thing every day. And they just want to shake it off for one day. And even the farmer's kind of the same way. He's kind of burnt out on routine. So they put him to sleep. And then but they didn't put him to sleep in his own place. So, so that I won't wake up and, and that they wouldn't have to start the schedule again in the middle of the day. Yeah, they just want a day off. And then the dog, dog's the only one that's not going for the, well, the dog and the farmer obviously aren't going for the day off. Although the farmer is clearly burnt out on the days. And they, they kind of trick the dog 
And actually, everything might have gone to plan, except the dog... The dog gets out of the trick they set up. And, uh... And, and then they tried to get him out, but they broke the knob, but then it's... They tried to get... To get the... To, the yeah. And then it ran... Tried to run... And then it ran away, and then they, they had to go find him again and bring him back to the farm. Yeah, That's the whole, what this whole thing is about. The whole, tra the whole trailer rolls down that they have the farmer in. And probably when we get past that is probably where we should stop because otherwise we're going to start getting into spoilers because that's just, that's just the setup. That's your act one. And then af after that they're just trying to fix it. Yeah. But yeah, I, I went to this thing with no idea what to expect and it was fun. It was totally fun. Because... Um, Absolutely worth checking out if you want to see something with your kid. Because they have memory memory loss and you didn't like like the sheep anymore. So they had to fix that. Well, it wasn't that you didn't like them. You didn't know who they were. Makes more sense. Mm -hmm. You still liked them. Remember they hugged them. And, well, that's getting kind of spoilers. So I mean, we won't go into any more of that. But, uh, do we need to do a spoilers discussion on this? Maybe. Okay, we'll do a little bit of spoilers here. Uh, it's a fun movie. If it looks appealing, watch a trailer, I would say, if it looks appealing to you at all, or if you think your kid would like it, it'd be a fun movie to watch with your kid. Uh, go check this out. This is fun. Not 99% on Rotten Tomato Meter fun. Don't, don't go into it expecting that good. But it's fun. It's, it's cute, and it's really sweet. All right, I guess spoiler. She wants to do a little bit of spoiler. I'm not sure what to. I guess spoiler. We can discuss uh, the, the, how he, that, that he gets his memory back after he gets hugged by them, which was really sweet. Yeah, yeah. When he they hugged him, he remembered them hugging him when they were babies. Yeah. Well, when they were younger. Yeah, he became this barber. It was really weird. It wasn't a particularly great haircut, but apparently it became all the fashion. He became this. Bar this celebrity barber, the farmer he did. He cut hair like he did when he yeah. cut the sheep's hair yeah. on his head. And so he becomes a celebrity barber and what? It takes place over like a day, right? <laughs> yeah. Wow. I knew social media was fast, but holy crap. <laughs> I didn't think the haircut was all that amazing, but okay. <laughs> it's better than my haircut right now, I'll say that. <laughs> I don't think it's better than <laughs> uh, anything else to add? Oh. All I can think of to say is this is just a really fun family family movie. Take, go to your family and see this. Don't see Fantastic Four. Fantastic Four is terrible. See this. What's your final thought? My final thought. My thought is that Fantastic Force is gonna be okay for some people. Okay, she she thought Fantastic Four is all right. I thought it was dreadful. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Well, still, you'd say this is better than Fantastic Four, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. We can agree on that. This this was so much better than Fantastic Four. All right. Um, well, until next time, I don't know what movie we're doing next. Um, if Man from Uncle gets really good reviews, we'll probably do that. Otherwise, I have no idea. Probably be a month or two. Yeah, it's kind of hot. We're going to wrap this up. Bye. <laughs>